Hey everybody, welcome to the inaugural episode, episode one of a brand new Whistlekick series, Who'd Win? And on Who'd Win, we explore the best of the hypothetical kind of barroom or after training conversations that we all have about who'd win in a fantasy matchup of some of our favorite martial arts figures. And today, on this very first episode, we're gonna explore who'd win between Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali. Now, if you're not familiar with these two people, you're probably living under a rock, or maybe you were born yesterday, I don't know. But either way, these are two amazing figures from the broader world of martial arts. And I say that because not everyone's going to consider Muhammad Ali a martial artist because he's a boxer, but that's a whole different conversation and beyond the scope of what we're talking about here on Who Would Win. So I have a piece of paper here, and on this paper are some of the highlights, some of the details that we need to review before we can discuss who'd actually win in this fight. Now, when we talk about weight, depends on what part of Muhammad Ali's career that we're talking about, but most people accept 215 pounds as being his fighting weight during the peak of his career. And on the other side of the tape, you've got Bruce Lee at 145 pounds, a 70 pound difference, pretty big deal there. When we talk about height, Bruce Lee comes in just about at my height, five foot seven inches, and Muhammad Ali on the other side is six foot three. Now, the next bit, reach, Muhammad Ali at 78 inches, it's, well, I, I don't know what Bruce Lee's reach was. I looked. I can't find any concrete information on that, other than most people have reach plus or minus three inches of their height. Bruce Lee at five foot seven, that's 67 inches. So we're talking at most 70 inch reach. So Muhammad Ali's got at least eight inches on him. Now, when we talk about the style, we know what these guys can do, could do. Muhammad Ali as one of the greatest boxers of all time. Bruce Lee, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, which does incorporate some American style boxing. Of course, we've got Kung Fu in there and some other elements that he incorporated from his time training with a variety of martial artists. Now, we talk about their strengths. Muhammad Ali, a wonderful technician, the thing that I'm going to hone in on the most, his trash talk. The psychology that he brought into his fighting was incredible. If you go back, if you look at any of his pre-fight interviews, the man was a master of intimidation. And while that may not matter when we're looking, you know, very subjectively at someone's skill, it does matter when we're talking about a fight. Bruce Lee on the other side was an absolute master te uh, uh, technician, not tactician, technician with incredible power. His one inch punch is a wonderful example of that. Weaknesses. Muhammad Ali didn't have to deal too often with kicks. In fact, as a boxer, professionally, he never had to deal with kicks. Bruce Lee, his biggest weakness, actual professional fight experience. For those of you who have ever sparred, you know, sparring is one thing, but for those of you who have been in the ring and fought and had an actual full contact fight, it's a whole different ballgame. To that tune, Bruce Lee has no professional record. Muhammad Ali, 56 and five. And so now let's start to break that stuff down. If we look at different situations, for example, unexpected combat. The two of them end up, let's say, in, a, in an alley, and they both happen to think that the other one, I don't know, is, is going to kill them. I, I, I don't know what the scenario would be, but let's just imagine that there was a, uh, a fight that had to happen, and they didn't plan on it. This was not like a professional boxing match where you have time to prepare and you know a lot of specifics, but it just it happened. Well, this is one of the situations where I think Bruce Lee stands a chance. Maybe not a big chance, but better than 
if we planned ahead on a boxing match, even a boxing match involving kicking in the ring, because Bruce Lee is fast. And from what we have learned about him, what we've read about him, what many of us have come to understand is that he's adaptive, he's scrappy. And I could see him getting some shots in on Muhammad Ali, especially if he's going to be fast and using his feet and this kind of random scenario pops up. However, in the end, I think even in unexpected combat, the sheer strength, the weight that's going to be behind Muhammad Ali's punches in an unexpected combat situation, I think he's going to win. Now, if we move into a ring, if we have some kind of planned fight, I think the rules are going to have an impact here. If it's boxing only, I don't think there's anyone who's going to question that Muhammad Ali would win in that scenario. You're taking one of the greatest boxers of all time and restricting the feet, some of the flexibility, I don't mean stretching flexibility, but the adaptability of Bruce Lee, forcing him into hands only, I think Muhammad Ali's got that by a mile. If we're looking at kickboxing, I think Bruce Lee starts to do a little bit better. I don't know that Muhammad Ali would even bother using his feet. Maybe if he had the time to prepare, he would learn how to kick in order to keep him away. But I think either way, even if he doesn't kick, even if Bruce Lee can, I think a couple well-timed shots to the head and Bruce Lee's going down. Now, if we go to MMA, if we talk about some standard mixed martial arts rules, this is the only scenario where I think Bruce Lee has a chance. And in fact, I'm gonna call it 50-50 here. If Bruce Lee can close the gap, which we all know he's fast enough to do, it's a question of how well Muhammad Ali would do keeping him off of him, creating some space, maybe using some elbows, and keeping Bruce Lee from getting to his back. Bruce Lee gets to his back, I would imagine quite a few shots to the legs, to the knees, Muhammad Ali not being used to dealing with that, I could see it going either way. Now, that has, in all but one scenario, Muhammad Ali taking it. And before you send me too much hate mail, in fact, we've got two bits of information here. Bruce Lee went on record at one point to say, in fact, that he would lose. Back in the early 70s, late 60s, as Muhammad Ali was becoming more and more dominant, there were people talking about what a fight between the two of them would look like. And the director on one of the movies, and I forget which one it was, as I was doing my research, I pulled this up, but you can find this, this is all over the place. One of the directors claims, Bruce Lee talked to him and said, there's no way I would win against Muhammad Ali. He would crush me. And you know what? I think I agree. Now, the other bit of information that I think is pretty interesting here, you've got one other famous fighter who has gone on record to say that Muhammad Ali would win, and that's Ronda Rousey. She claims that Muhammad Ali would have beaten Bruce Lee. And you know what? I agree. So I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. In what scenario might Bruce Lee have had a chance? Let's talk about this. Let's create some conversation. And I'll be back with episode two at some point in the future. Take care.